So the I idea this morning is to introduce you to the what I call either the Linux or the Unix command line. So running things on in the terminal on the command line. Uh, and the idea is that you understand this command by the end of today. Anyone know what this command is? Okay, so we'll see that this is a command that produces this output. Okay, so we'll have a look and see some of these things and what, what all this uh, random set of characters is actually doing. This morning we'll just do very basics how to move or about the operating system in the afternoon if you still uh, have the energy we'll do some other things maybe a little bit more interesting. Uh, often I'll give an explanation of the history of Unix, of Linux, their relationship uh, and talk about why one would use the command line and Linux in general. But today we'll not. We want to go straight into it. I'll give you some pointers where you can find out about that and read it about yourself. So there are plenty of seats spread about. Uh, yeah, a couple in the middle. I will show you how you can see what I'm doing on the screen on your screen in a moment. So it's a little bit easier to see, especially from the back. So I will not give an introduction of what is Linux, what's the history, uh, why use it, why not use Windows, that's not what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, we're going to go direct into using some commands and then maybe discuss some of those issues as they come up. As always, some of the things that I'll present are on the website. So if you go to the website, which is ict.sittuact.h slash Moodle, follow the links to the workshops, and you will find links to some other resources. This Linux reference card is a PDF of the page you have in front of you. Okay? These documents are also on your desktop. I think I'll put them there. If you have logged in, I should say again, the username and password to these machines is what? Student and student. Okay, Very secure. If you log in, on your desktop you'll see uh, a folder called ITS332. That was the name of the lab. And you'll see local copies of some of these documents there. So you don't even have to go to the website. But the Linux reference card is just this one page sheet, which we'll look through over time. There's a few slides on why use Linux, which I usually present to the lab, but will not present today. And a couple of other slides, which we may select a few pages from just for display. And a couple of websites, which we'll use in the afternoon as more detailed examples, so know where to find these. Let's open a terminal, because the terminal is the application that gives us uh, the interface for issuing commands to our computer, and the computer sending back some output, and it's displayed on the terminal. So we have a terminal application and let me close this. How do you find it? You cannot see on my computer. Can anyone not open a terminal? I think in your desktop there's a black icon. You can open multiple. Open at least two. And just close this one. Resize it to fit how you prefer it. Okay, you can zoom in if you go to the menu and view zoom. You can zoom in if you want to make it a little bit bigger for you. So just get your desktop uh, ready. Open two terminals. You will need at least two. Uh, one will follow what I type, and the other is where you will type. Just before we get started on your desktop, you can switch workspaces. Uh, 
let's see. If you press Control, Alt, and left, right, up, down arrows, so Control, I'll just type, don't type this, Alt, and say up, at the same time it will move up a workspace. Left, right, and down, you can switch workspaces. See if you can do that. It's hard for me to show the exact command. Control, Alt, and your arrows move around. In that way you can open a browser or a PDF in one workspace and your terminal in another workspace and conveniently switch between them quite quickly. Just so you can follow along a little bit easier. If you want, if this color scheme of this sort of white text on dark background is not so good, with your terminal, if you go to the menu and edit profile preferences, so open your terminal and go to the menu, edit profile preferences, you can change the color scheme. Okay? And you can use the colors from the system theme or you can select a different color scheme. Whichever is your preference. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do today is just some basic things that you can interact with your computer via the command line. And I'll do some things on the screen and you can do them on your own computer. You can do them the same or differently and just explore some commands. Uh, but what's convenient is if you don't have to look at the, the projector, but you can look at your own monitor and see what I'm typing. So first we want to set that up. Here's my terminal that I'm going to use. Uh, we'll explain the prompt as we go, uh, but if you've got one of your terminals open, this is a special step at the startup, I want you to log into my computer. And my computer is which computer in this room? On the screen, which computer am I using? Anyone want to guess? It's not this one. Computer number 24, which is one of them at the back. Okay? Don't use 24. I'm using it. I've logged into it remotely. I want you to log into it remotely. So type this on one of your terminals. SSH is the program to log in remotely, log into another computer, and the IP address of that other computer is this 10106224. Press enter, it will prompt for a username and password. Same username and password, or I think it prompts immediately for a password. It's student, and log in. Everyone's logged in. Now, it may prompt you, are you sure you want to continue? Yes, you trust us. So in one of your terminals do this, and you'll see why in a moment. And then, type the command, let's see if it works. tmux attach session minus R minus T demo 1. Once you've logged into that computer 24, type this command, tmux, T-M-U-X, space, attach, dash, session, space, minus R minus T, and then demo 1. And press enter. We're just setting up so that you can see what I type. Tmux, tmux attach dash session minus r minus t demo one okay good it'll make sense once okay good just get everyone at the same point 24 you're on 22 exit uh, exit. 
E X I T. E X I T. All right, now log in to secure shell to 24. 10, 10, 6, 2, 2, 4. Tmux attach, attach is spelt wrong. Okay, we'll get everyone at the same spot and then we'll start. Tmux attach session. We're going to use this so you can see what I type. You'll see in one window what I type and in the other terminal window you will type your own things. That's all. Yes, okay. Almost. 10, 10, 6, 2, 2, 4. Good. Yep. Okay. No? Sometimes you install Tmux. Right, so you need LAN on here to connect. Use this one. Use this one. You, if you use this one, you'll be able, most of the commands, uh, so what I suggest is use this one to see what I'm doing, and you can still run the commands on this one. Okay, so then you can view both. All right, I think everyone's there. Let's see what, what that did. Tmux is this program that allows us to share a terminal. You watch your terminal. Is it changing? So you're going to see what I type. That's all. Okay. And then you don't have to look at the screen. You can listen and look at your monitor. Okay. So now everyone's set up. What we'll do is you watch in one window and the other window you can type and follow along. So let's get started. <laughs> 